Israel is sending robots with machine guns to the Gaza border. Gaza is often described as the world's largest open-air prison. Over 2 million people inhabit the tiny coastal strip, and they must endure a 70% unemployment rate, frequent shortages of medical supplies, fuel and clean water, constant power outages, and the fundamentalist governance of the extremist group Hamas. Add to that the Israeli airstrikes that knocked down multiple high-rise residential buildings in a war last May, the third war since Hamas seized control of Gaza in 2007. Gazans who've had enough will find it difficult to leave. There's both a naval blockade and a 40-mile-long border fence barring entry into Israel, complemented by an additional nine miles of steel and concrete walls on the Gaza-Egyptian border. Only a lucky minority are granted permits to pass through checkpoints into Israel or Egypt for work or medical care. But the checkpoints are frequently closed at times of high tension. And now, in a new dystopian twist out of Robocop, people defying the border barrier may be confronted by a robotic six-wheeled car blaring warnings from a built-in public address system. And if non-compliant, the robot can address the infraction with a turret-mounted machine gun. The Gaza border barrier is supported by many Israelis because it has reduced to almost nil the ability of Hamas and other militant groups to carry out ambushes, kidnappings and suicide bombings in Israel. The Israeli border barrier features miles of sensor-infused, smart, fencing guarded by ground troops and armored vehicles, surveilled by orbiting drones, and monitored by sentry tech towers armed with remote control. 50-caliber machine guns capable of shredding light vehicles. The barriers extend underground too, blocking some but not all cross-border tunnels used by Palestinian smugglers. Nonetheless, Gazans periodically mass in protest outside the one-mile-long buffer zone in front of the fence and sometimes even blast holes through it. While IDF guards can and do shoot to eliminate those deemed armed infiltrators, others appraised to be non-combatants may instead be repelled with tear gas dropped by drones, or accorded warning shots, sometimes followed by a sniper shot to the leg. During a violent surge of protests at the border in April and May of 2018, over 11,000 Palestinians were injured and 100 dead by IDF border forces, which suffered one fatality and several wounded.